Oh, hello. I did see you there. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be setting up a server. Hey folks, we are back. door because it's warm bit here but uh, here is the server oh does not have hot swap base but uh, that's not the end of the world um, I'm pretty sure that you should be able to put that one off separately but uh, here we are. There we go. So this is what we got going on. Yes, indeed. We have one stick of RAM per CPU. These are Samsung uh, PC3. Uh, Ted six uh, six hundred R. I don't know how the turbo paste on this thing is. Now I have not checked the turbo paste on these CPUs yet. Ow! I guess he did some kind of maintenance before, of course. Bring it down there now. I don't know where the fuck. Alright, what is that the over by all of this stuff? Yes. Good dog. Eh, could I want to do your the better yet? Yeah, well, as a steel plug, it had an internal form of boot disk and put that in the server. Oh, well, I could. Here is the thing, I could just uh, snip snip call, uh, Yad, may I ask what's going on? Your stream is like dead. Okay, there we go, now it's updated. Okay, I was just like, I hear fighting, but your screen is like just the boy who's standing there doing nothing. <laughs> But yes, I could just do snip, 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 and just put all my own cable problems on. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. And that's even better, because then I also have those internal SATA ports, which means I can cram an extra disk or two in here, as well as my boot drive, without a problem, if this thing is capable of providing enough power at this. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's only four cables here, so I have to figure out which one is powered and which one is uh, what. And I'm gonna cut it a little bit down the line, just to make sure. And then this should be... And then we got these three, which should be ground, ground, and five volts. Oh, well, I mean, if it did, then... Well, I mean, she's stuck on there. Now, where did my... Uh... Um...
Well, there is by the tree at least. Ja, då spelar jag bara dubbel seven vid. There we go. And then this one is our 5 volt. Slunky hook. But uh, where the fuck is that uh, Vago went? It's a very good question, so I'll steal another trier Vago. Oh well, what was a trier Vago has now become a tour Vago from here. And then by any luck of the imagination, I've done this correctly, and uh, I can just kind of snip, 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 and uh, call it a day. Which means this cable does not need to be laying there anymore. So by any luck of the imagination, I can yankly make this work. Because then I'll strip these two, put them together, since they are 5 volts DC, they should work. Then we put a fairing on you, yeah? and I think actually for you we're gonna have to use uh, this fairing. It's gonna be smaller, but it will work. Hopefully. We'll figure out as soon as I plug this sheet in and fire her up. So I'm just gonna quickly fire her up to see if there is any activity in the disk. And if there is activity in the disk, then... Well, mission accomplished. Then we just have to shock a boot drive what not in this thing and uh, well, call it a day. Snip these two off. So yeah, by any luck of the imagination, the big drive also takes 5 volts. And if it does that means I can pluck both of those in there because I would kind of like to have all of them during all to the SAS card. I could just order another SAS cable, call it a day. I could. I could just order another SAS cable and then just hook them through there. So as far as getting the uh, other drives to show up in the uh, uh, SAS car, this is not really a problem. As far as the boot drive goes, it doesn't need to be there. And I don't know if it will really read from the local one. If it will really read from the local one and don't have to go through the SAS car, then... Well... My lucky day, because that means I can just kind of exactly figure out a way to throw that on their, uh, eh, that on their uh, disc in here. And uh, if that is another slot I see in the back there, I can potentially put a low profile graphics card in this thing. Is there anything down there? Well, that is the motherboard, but... Uh, Yes, there is a low profile slot right there. So if I can move this uh, SAS card down by any luck of the imagination, I can actually... <laughs> 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 
What is that another SAS connector? That is another SAS connector, okay. So I got three SAS connectors, it looks like. Um, yes, so, <laughs> five volts. I just really hope this works, so that way I don't have to yankly do other shit. Next thing I know, SATA overcurrent. That's gonna be the next thing. Huh. Okay, so. Uh, there is my ground. And there is my uh, 5 volts. So by any luck of the imagination, does this one have an indicator LED? Uh, do it to stop. Does this one? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll feel if the drive boots up. I'll feel if the drive boots up. Now by any luck of the imagination, this server doesn't suddenly take off on me the moment I plug it in. So well, by any luck of the imaginations, okay, those are spinners, I can say. But yes, the hard drive started it seems, which means she got full it. Okay. Okay, you can shut up now. Jesus! I said shut up! Okay then! Lordy heaven, yet tension, my god! Eh. This thing loud, boy! But yes, that means this is gonna work out totally fine. We hope. Uh, yes. This should do fine as a boot drive. Theta. Uh, if I kept just quiet the. Let's see, if I could just kind of tuck this back in here and just kind of do that right there. Should be a problem, right? Let's just try and get through that install of this thing. Now, do I have a VGA cable hooked into this thing? Yes, I do. Do you have power? Yes, you do. Da 
Now let me get another P uh, IEC cable. So that way this thing has both its power supplies. But actually, let's plug them in first. And then uh, I'll... Uh, wherever the fuck she is... Uh, there she is. Then I'll let it off with you, so that way I can uh, control the poor server. And then we also plug in my Ventoy USB. And uh, by any luck of the imagination, So this is the broken cable. I don't know if we'll have it out, but hopefully we do. Eventually. Yeah, those things don't detect it. Configuring that, Maria, so I can hear the map. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be setting up a server. Oh God, they practically blow the lid off the PSU. <laughs> Slot. Get the red out of the LSI for Okay, so you are finding that drive, good. That is my Yankee made uh, cable for getting uh, fab four speed base change depending on system configuration of the called action. Yes, easy to see I know that I'm about to fucking go into the BIOS, okay? There. There. Oh, you can hear the fan? Oh, 
She a loud boy. Also, I found a solution for the hard drive. Jesus. Just that. Turn down my fans. That's literally all I care about. But for some of these, my eye drag is just not, and my uh, fucking router seems to be having a very great time as well. So, Ugh. restart this bitch. Because that one is having a very great day. But I guess what I could do is uh, pop uh, this one back on. I guess. Now I can do it. Because the only thing we're going to be doing in here is connecting in that one port disk. Or two disks actually. And that's my two archival drives, which means we need to save the uh, connectors that I do have. SATA connectors. It's not the most bendiest of SATA connectors, but. Let's just let that poor router of mine restart first. Because it's uh, not having a great time. B1, B2, B4. Well, we're basically doing the same config on each side and it's registering both memories. I guess that's all that really matters. Well, Okay, it is pizza time. I've been trying to access the IPMI of that thing forever. And I'm starting to wonder if you actually need to have the iDRAC V6 like expansion card interface in order to actually do the IPMI. Even though theoretically speaking out from what I'm reading, you should be able to do IPMI with the uh, USC. 
<sighs> Even without the IDRAC expansion card. <sighs> so yeah. So I'm now going to have some pizza and then probably try a little bit later. I do want to get my uh, Plex library and my Minecraft server and stuff back up again tonight. If the end becomes to the end, I'm just gonna have to shrunk this thing out in the hallway or something. You know, and I get on a cable and fire it up out in there. So at least I don't have to listen to the darn thing. Uh, the worst thing is that the only rack which I can actually screw that thing into is the back side of this rack. And I only have one part of the rail for the left side and that's the only rail I have, so... Yeah. But now I'm gonna enjoy some food. Okay, we are back and where are you, Vimea? Well, we're here. I pretty much just rammed all my two scratch SSDs and my other one down in there. Although I will have to transfer stuff off of them and back onto them in order to um, create a new tool. So I will probably have to pop windows on this thing. Do some file transfer and then reinstall tunas on this thing and then do my tools and stuff. But right now we're having issues with this, these discs not even showing up on an HPA level. This kind of a... Stay, stay, stay. This is kind of the problem we're having. We're hooked in, but they're not showing up in uh, through NAS. I don't even think they're showing up in the card even. There is a PCIe adapter here, but there is no... No devices to display on the HPA. Which is very weird because there is stuff connected to the HPA. I don't know if it is because the HPA does not support NTFS, but that would be very weird. I could try and make a random disk I have over here Axfat, see if it will work. But Okay folks, we are back, and after a few hours of firmware issues, updating shit, free DOS and stuff, we got our two scratch disks, our two archive disks, our flex media, and our food droid. <sighs> the BIOS revision has been updated. So that's 8 years newer, 114 instead of 16. The HPA has been updated to firmware 15, package 03. Now, the fun part is gonna be getting everything to a standpoint where I can start creating pools. Yeah. So there's our Broadcom internet card. There's our 6 gigabit SAS controller, HPA, great controller, whatnot, you want to call it. Uh, there's our uh, uh, boot ROM successfully installed. There's our uh, three drives. Uh, so that one, I believe is, yes, that's our Plex drive, and those two are our archives. There is our two scratch disks, and there's our boot media. Um, by any luck of the imagination, it seems like I ain't gonna have to press a single button. Oh no, I am the... One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six drives and boom through nas There is number three. There is number four. <sighs> so literally the only thing that we have not gotten to work now is the IPMI to change the fan speed and shit. Uh, hey. These two feet under sex. Okay, so they ain't took it up at all. Okay, I mean, they ain't resolved. Because I was for the. I can't even look. Maybe I wasn't quick enough. For some, I'm not cool, bro. Yes. And it's a plug. För en docka upp i trun är så. Och Plex. Uh, DVDs. You're the biggest one. Yes, you're 1.3 terabytes. So. I won't be fitting you on any disk. But. Really, I have the DVDs. So really. I could do this very easy. Just. Delete DVDs, which is gonna take a long time. Or maybe not. Because then the rest of this right here is how much? Mm -hmm. 303, which means I can just dump all of this. Right onto the desktop. Or right into videos here. Which gonna take a hot min and then just plonk her in and then I can just rip those DVDs again if I want them on my Plex. So even though that's gonna take about 30 minutes. So that's fine. It's these drives which are gonna be the fun ones to do. Because these are striped, so they need to be connected together while that operation is being done. <sighs> these are even funner, even though they're smaller, because... <sniffs> they are now jammed into that bay, and they are not coming out of that bay. So yeah, so I'm going to do this entire operation and we'll be back when we create our first uh, VDEV or CVAL if you will. Hey! Oh god! Yeah. Yeah. Why can't you need to beat the thermal paste for the year? Did I use it?
Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Det där blir gud av vet du. Jobbar det rann. Där ja. Okay, folks, we're back and we have, uh, well, the uh, SSDs and whatnot are in the system and they are cleared and they are good. So now I can set up an SMB share for that and get that moved over. We are sued with the first batch of data for that other pool. So that's good. I just want to see if uh, we how the drives and stuff are laying at the moment if uh, this thing is gonna clear it's gonna be it's gonna be tight but I mean I didn't say it wasn't gonna be tight but well I mean she's together So I guess uh, we'll power it on and uh, create the pool. Oh. Yeah, I just unplugged it earlier because. I had it go off on fucking... Now it should... Okay! You can ease down now! There's CD power, of course it's gonna be blaringly loud. Please, for the love of God. Thank you. Jesus. Easy. Lord. I'm trying to not to lose my ears.
that thing is going to become so much of a fucking problem if we can't access the IPMI and get that shit fixed. Because this thing is loud. <laughs> of course it will be quiet when we get it in the rack and get all the base and what not filled up. But... Lord. Let's just see if it detects everything. So I can go into Trunas and import that pool, what not. PCIe training area. Integrated RAID, system halted. Laps. <clears throat> A problem. And right now, even worse, this top panel is not having a great time. Okay, if we kind of just do this, and we, yeah, I kind of forgot about that one. And I kind of just... Oh god. Now, then the question is... Nobody told you to power off! Why the hell do you have your intrusion switch? Why do you need to power up the system? <sighs> well, the question is, is it because of the slot or is it because of something else? What is it because the bottom slot just doesn't have enough uh, pizza e uh, lanes? Let me try and just put it in the top slot again, see if she boots, and if she boots, then oh, I have to figure out figure out the solution how I'm gonna put the. Uh, So I guess I'll just have to fire this thing up without the lid. So I'm just gonna put that on the intrusion switch. And then find my hearing protection, wherever the fuck it went. And, uh, well. That was the least of the problems I was going to be having. You're going to start up yourself? I'm just shrimping you and everybody else. Everybody wants to scroll. Apparently not. Okay, okay. It's okay, but you 
Okay. No, it's whatever. It's a whatever. Uh, All right. I was wrong about that controller. That controller needs cooling. All right. Ow. We could say it needs cooling, all right. Holy heavens! I think I'm gonna be fine to slap in some fuck. No man. It's not a question if did it even start to build on that other slot or not, because I did not see if it did or not. Because uh. I really wanna get that HPA to work in the other slot with a riser cable or something because I really want to put the GT1030 in this thing for doing plex transcoding and whatnot Granted he hasn't booted yet well there she goes Well, it's finding the SAS controller. Is that the 2010 before? Now it's 2011, so... Yeah, I know that funky shit. We don't care. Just boot to the shit. We don't care. Oh god. Don't tell me. Don't tell me the fucking power cable for that thing fell out. Ah, oh, I see what happened. The Zeta fell out. <sighs> oh, we're just gonna make this shit even more fun. <sighs> Disconnect uh, top. Disconnect next top. Or did it even disconnect? Question mark. It didn't disconnect. Well then why? Oh wait, I may need to... Because it's a different port, I may need to actually reconfigure the port it's using. Lord. I've spent the entire night trying to do this the entire last day. I mean, the GT1030 stuff, that stuff that's gonna be added later. Right now, I just bought my discs to show up and all that jazz. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
probably gonna have to jump into the setup and reconfigure my boot device orientation order and all that jazz. Well, we'll be back when I got the sheet up and running. There we go, I'm going to update you guys with cable because she was that dead. It's the next day and he had the service thing. I just gave up this morning. I just, I was just so emotionally drained and whatnot after dealing with the server. Trying to get all kinds of things to work, trying to move the... Uh, Move the SAS card now to get more space for GT1030. Uh, for doing Plextra coding or whatnot, then I think what I'm gonna have to do is probably get another SAS card, a shorter SAS card. Um, well, that's maybe only SATA, so a SAS2 SATA card, whatnot, that will fit in that bottom slot, which is smaller. Or use a riser or something because I do want to put a GT1030 in here to do Plex Trans coding and whatnot. I could do it purely software based, but it would be ideal to have some GPU acceleration. So, yeah. So, basically, the problem I'm currently having is that my SATA, my ACHI controller, is not even showing up. So, I may have to order a secondary mini SAS. To 4x ADA cable to get those last drives on that I mean uh, anyways it would be ideal to have all the drives show up on the SAS card and my oh, you know come to the imagination or well I know I can boot from that SAS card but if I decide to go with another SAS card then by any luck of the imagination, I can boot from that one. So yeah, so that's where we are. So I'm going to wait for this to finish now. And then I'm going to transfer the last folder from that disk. Format those disks, smack those disks in here. And then I got to try and get this shit fired up. So here we are. Okay, I am back and we are done transferring data to the Barracuda. So now we're transferring over to another hard drive down there and then I'm going to dump the rest of all to my local machine. And then it's about time to move those drives into that chassis. Although I'm going to call Oscar and uh, hear if he has some drive screws, what not. <sighs> Because if not, I'm going to have to kindly the jack if I jam the drives in there. So yeah. So we're shugging along and I'm going to try to figure out where the hell my S10 Plus took the way. Because I have my, uh, my, uh, my, uh. Uh, S10 uh, tempered glass coming today, the correct one, as well as uh, a 10 uh, piece set of uh, XLR connectors. So I can finish up some of the cables that I've just been laying it out, and I can make some patch cables. Because I do need some more patch cables. Since uh, I'm pretty much not existent for patch cables at the moment. So that's the thing. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So, like that. so if I now go in here, then stuff makes sense here, yes. So probably the 23rd is when I'll be heading up. So yeah. So I'm gonna wait for my transfer to get done and I'll update you folks. Okay, I am back and we are moving the last stuff off of the archive drives. 
I got data on hard disk in there. I got data on hard disk in there. I got I got data on that hard disk. I got data on the machine itself. I got data on my HDD game cache. I got data on that machine for those drives. My Plex library or my yeah. Uh, anime folder for Plex and stuff that one I eat it by accident so I'll have to borrow Jan's uh, eh, external SSD and uh, transfer some stuff from him and resort stuff and then re-download uh, some of the animes again to put on that Plex server and all that but for about 50% done transferring uh, here I've been sitting with this phone because I don't have screws thin enough to put in those trays so what we're going to do is that we're just going to put foam, uh, foam nubbins, whatnot, on the bottom of the drives, or the top of the drives, what's going to end up being the bottom when we're putting them in there. And then just uh, shove them in there, um, so they don't vibrate at least against the bottom of the chassis. Um, and call it a day. Uh, uh, the reason why I do the entire drive is because I want it to be somewhat easy to take off Because at one point I will obviously be mounting these properly And then I want to be able to take these off without having to use 5 hours trying to clean them up so I can deal with cleaning up 4 quarters but not the entire drive and the label on it would be completely ruined So here we are So yeah, so we're shrugging along Okay folks, we are back and it's finally done file transferring. Holy heavens. I thought it was never gonna end. And then gets... gets slid in and then gets connected uh, no this way yes yes so there we go that's one drive finally in and then we're about to have a second drive in but yes, that's at least one drive mounted properly in the sled. <sighs> so now the question is, will this thing start up and be a happy? Or will this thing start up and be a pain? That is the big question. And what I mean by that is, will it detect the controller? Or will it not? No, I just yanked you out, so you should just... Or not. Maybe because it's been unplugged for so long. For more... SATA port A device to fault. Well, I mean, it's saying SATA, so that would be a good thing, right? Yeah, I know that. To show me my two drives. There's my two 4 terabyte drives. But is my SATA going to show up? That's the question. No, there's my BNC firmware, and uh, my SATA is not showing up. <laughs> well, that means we need to do some... Uh... Well, there's all my uh, LSI drives.
Okay, so it will not. If I strike F1, it's gonna say it can't find it. I kind of have no choice then to just kind of move stuff over and just kind of try to jam her in there. As long as we can get her in, that's all that matters. This will be dead anyways at the moment, so that's how that shank goes. The problem now is that we won't be able to connect that drive because of how this drive is, because of the length of the cable and shit. It's gonna be a stretch, but we'll figure out. Anywho, this shit is just to forget about. So you are boot. Good. And then exit the configuration and the boot. So by any luck of the imagination, if everything is configured now, it should go to that SOS LSI controller and then it should boot from the controller. By any luck of the imaginations. So by any luck it should boot right off of that car HPA now. Trudas, root. So then, storage, pools, add, create pool. Add those, Dave. Neko live. Underscore. Ink. Underscore. Fill dash me dash up dash send. Fill dash me dash up dash dash up dash send. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Create. Confirm. Create pool. Excuse me? Wait a minute. Fuck. I have to set up all of that again. I managed to create a mirror instead of a stripe. <laughs> Window shares. Delete. Confirm. And I've actually got to export that and create the make the data sheet that actually. So let's delete that pool. And remake it as a just straight striped raid zero. Which was what the plan was, but uh, here we are and it did not work. <sighs> Thank you, all data deleted. Add create pool. You and you and import all of you. And then stripe. Raw. 
Yes, I know. Confirm. Start for I don't care. There, there we create a data set called that. We create a share called that. And we call it a day. Operation not permitted, yeah, that's fine. Okay, then we create add a data set called you compression level of Enable LARPs, uh, yes. Or inherit off, yes. CFS, sensitive, SMB, submit. Yes. And then, uh, edit permissions. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Uh, group. Uh, SMB. Close, full control, inherit, yes, save, then we go back on my sharing, my Windows SMB share, we add, uh, you, uh, yes, you, which already has an SEL, default share parameters, yes. And since you already got the ACL, that means by any luck of the imagination. We disconnect you. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's delete everything and then reopen this one. <laughs> okay. Let's restart this thing because it is clearly not having a great time. So though by any look of the imagination I can just add that chair and start dumping things back onto that server. Well, a rab is getting a run for its money at the moment. Oof, oof. Okay, we are back. And we're about to have the first set of data finished transfer. Maybe it's on the other drive. I don't know. Anywho, this drive is now empty. So that drive now gets disconnected from the system. Um, this one gets connected back on to the system. There we go. Now, one of these two volumes, this one has to fold it. Okay, yeah, okay. So all of this stuff, I believe, was all just... I really hope the ZFS cache will empty itself eventually. Really hope so. Hmm. So yeah, we'll be BRB. Well, we are sure about to put the lid on this thing and put it in the rack temporarily. While we transfer from the 4 terabyte disk. I was going to use a little bit to shut down because of transfer that just happened.
Okay. Now this is the moment of a uh, truth. Will she slot the dice or will she bend the shit out of the shelf? God. Uh. Oh God. Uh. Yeah, that's the. Uh. I mean, here's the thing. I could kind of put her in there, but. I can't put her all the way in there. <clears throat> so I, I can put her there. So how we're gonna do it about that will be interesting. So yeah, I'll be sitting here waiting for transfers and try to figure out the solution for that. Huh. Okay, I don't know if that ever properly started or not, but uh, the GoPro is still going, so uh, or just started, so I'm back here and after some homemade jank ass engineering. The server is in the rack, so I got a 2x4, or 2x6 actually, in the back there holding up the rack shelf. Which is inverted and then the server is just laying on top of there. Uh, so really the only thing I need to do now really is just wait for stuff to transfer over and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna call this the end of the video, since this video I'm technically speaking lasted for like 2-3, two, 2 days now. Uh, because of all the problems we have with HBAs not cooperating and whatnot. So, yeah, so I will say thank you guys for watching with that clip here. If you liked the video, like it, we really appreciate it. As always, check out links down below for my socials and all that. And until further notice, stay tuned, stay awesome, and definitely live.